Hi guys, I'm Santosh Kumar. Yes, this is my third video. This is my brand new YouTube channel. Guess what? Today we are trying to do some game using Python core modules. Let's get started. Okay, folks, I'm using Anaconda Navigator. So I'm launching this Jupyter Notebook. Yeah. Here, uh, I think I'll just use this bash. Yeah, right now I'm going for desktop. Yeah, this is my desktop. So I'm gonna launch my text made. So this is my file. So let me save this on my desktop with the name. Uh, say Chrome, Chrome game, Chrome game dot py. I'll tag to green. Okay, and I'm gonna save. Okay, text. Let's check for text size. It's this is fine. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a text object and we are going to move that object from down to top and top to down with simple uh, what data structures available in python okay let's get started to do uh, we first need a list list i'm considering this list as a pixel okay pixel i'll take uh, uh, six pixels one is for buffer and rest is for moving up and down so let's create uh, empty buffers so this is I'm taking three four five and six so this is an empty list so this is an empty list and I want uh, a user to give input if it is yes only then move that object from down to top so let's take that as a b from i'm taking a string input from user so uh, let, let that be some some something empty okay fine after that so i want to uh, make a condition if it is y only then uh, call that function call that move up and move down okay i'll just uh, uh, define the functions now define move underscore up okay this uh, for now, I'm just passing this Again define move underscore down Sorry for that so For now, I'll just pass this so after that I need something to uh, Take an input and um, Logically validate if it is y then call those two functions. Okay, let's do that. So if if uh, b whatever the input if it is upper if b dot upper is equals to is equals to y this is i'm taking y dot upper so this seems uh, logically okay then call first move up move up and move and scroll down okay so our task here is to define so what does this move up look like and move down look like? So first we are going to call move up and then move down. So here user takes input B and B is converted into upper. I'm just checking with the Y if it is. I'm converting it as upper and I'm just checking and let's perform move and up. So let's define this. What is this? Move up. Okay, in here. Uh, uh, we need something called uh, a counter counter let's let's take k is equals to 5 okay since we have a, a 6 pixel I'm, I'll just call this as a pixel 6 pixel we have in the 6 pixel while uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, continue this loop until it is 0 while k is not equals to 0 then I'm gonna delete the final one because on each loop I need to clear the previously filled 
object okay so this is a delete um, what I'm gonna delete I'm gonna delete that a of whatever the K so a of K I'm gonna delete that K then after deleting I'm gonna insert what do you want to insert I'm gonna insert a object here uh, since we are writing core uh, we don't use any sort of graphics here so I'll just take some uh, text object or a text uh, comic type of thing so that we can insert in a text way okay uh, let's do that we are we are deleting and I'm going to insert 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 something to some position let's say uh, I'll say k of minus 1 okay so here I need to draw something I need to draw something some object to jump up and down to draw something okay so let's let's figure out that later so after inserting after inserting I need to clear the full screen so I need to clear so this is clear I need to define one more function or that's clear which will every time needs to clear the screen or or say a terminal okay define clear okay I uh, will write that later for now uh, after clearing what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna print this a for elements for elements in uh, say a uh, print everything print everything uh, then after printing you know what you just decrease so decrease by one so delete one array delete one and print it and print it and print it so the object will look like moving upward and each time I push this object upper the screen will be clear using this function so this is how it is so we almost written a uh, move up function so I'll just copy this out and then paste here so that this, this logic is works on the same here what I want to do, do is I just start from the zero the pixel and I'm just checking for five here and I'm adding here and here too okay so this is uh, move up is ready move down is ready I'm gonna draw something later there uh, so what else we need uh, yeah so we need a speed in what speed do this object need to travel from down to top and top to down so to do that we are going to uh, we need a speed so we need uh, something called time something called time and to clear the screen to write this uh, we need something called OS on all one what operating system we are trying to clear the terminal so okay let's import a module OS okay and then let's import a model time fine that's fine so in clear what we are gonna do is uh, we are going to clear the screen so we are going to call something where we are stacking in things OS dot system OS dot system uh, I use CLS command uh, CLS command uh, in Windows operating system and CLEAR command on Mac OS. So CLS, if uh, if OS dot name is equals to NT, NT uh, stands for uh, Windows operating system. Else use clear. So that's how we clear the screen. Sorry for that. Okay, and then the so clear is done. Then we will call some something called speed. We need speed. So speed is equals to 0 0.5. Oh, for now we'll keep it as 10. 0 0.10, move up, move down. So so upon true. Okay, let me save this function. So let's make use of this clear. Then after that. Uh, something is missing here what I want to do is uh, so if this this problem what it does is uh, it suddenly moves up and suddenly moves down we need an interval time interval and I want some time of a system to sleep so that we we, we visualize things 
the movement of an object so I'm gonna call that here uh, using that time module time dot uh, I'm gonna sleep the system time dot sleep uh, I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna calling this sleep for um, say speed or yeah speed so the same thing just copy paste this to um, here I'm gonna save this function okay let's get back to our uh, shell here it is so ls so we have a now here python chrome game dot py so we have a header there so what is if it is cls os dot name okay sorry so which means this is i need to put double here this is a condition this is a logical statement okay where were we and again we have a error there is, there is no module named OS. I think I spelled wrong. Uh, import OS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall we shall clear this? And that's all. So we need an. Um, oh, yeah. It is terminated. Draw something. So draw something upon giving Y. I can give capital Y or small Y, it doesn't matter because I'm just uh, converting it to upper. So Y and draw something is now moving up and moving down. So I want draw something to be replaced with some kind of object. So some kind of, uh, uh, yeah, some kind of uh, uh, word Jackie Chan. Okay, let's get that uh, here. Okay, I'll just uh, open a new tab. I, I just got some here like text start symbol. Mm, I just show you where it is text start and uh, see here you have n number of text just choose your best one um, I'll take I'll take this or you can take this as well both same similar I'll take this I'll just copy this out mm. I'll just open new mm, in here see that's all so this is a text form of object I'm cutting the line so each line I cut I'll add slash n so the python will understand so this is a next line next line okay so in the beginning I'll just add slash n so I'll just take this out and draw something here and remove this I'm gonna paste this out I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna paste this out. I'm gonna save this. Okay. And let's run this code. Yeah. I'm going back to my shell. Gonna clear the screen. Anyways, it automatically does. And why? That's all. Here you go, folks. So this object jump from down to up and up to down, and you can control your speed. Uh, in our code uh, say here 005 can give it as 5 milliseconds and uh, run it again say y and it goes slow comes down um, it's all so put this loop into while so it will uh, what continuously run so we'll do that so where it is i'm calling this function i'm putting this complete if to while so say while while true continuously do it until until some someone forcefully stop the program i'm gonna tap this out it is if indentation is very important so that's all i think i will run the program say yes now it will run continuously yeah it looks pretty naughty right yeah that's all folks see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel please comment uh, your what you what you're thinking and if i could improve my uh, this coding performance or optimizations i'll just leave a link of my github of this code you can download there or you can contribute to that to this existing program and thank you for watching have a great day